thank you so much for watching. My name is Julie and I'm going to do a declutter of my nail polish today. You might have seen I just posted a video of all the numbers of the makeup I've owned and my goal this year was to actually decrease my makeup but I've increased in every category. So I'm going to start with nail polish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of my polishes and I'm going to see what I like, what I dislike, um, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pull things that I don't know if I do like and then I'm going to swatch them on my actual hands and I just did my manicure yesterday so I'm kind of mad about that <laughs> um, and see if I still like them or not. So I've got a wall here and on the table. I've got over 160 nail polishes so let's just jump in and grab things I know that I need to swatch. So I'm going to grab this one. This is Princess's Rule by OPI. I'm going to swatch that one. Um, CoverGirl XL Nail Gel, it's in this green color made in France, that's not the color. Plumpet Pear, I just bought that one, I'm going to keep that one. What is this? I've, as you can see, I have no rhyme or reason for this. Sephora Instant Nail and Cuticle Care, I've never used that. I think I'll just go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, CoverGirl Stay Brilliant, I kind of like that color. Keep, Purple Ruffian Keep. Okay, so all of these are my... Uh, Zoya Naked Manicure. I love these, but I know I'm not going to use mauve. I'm never going to use the mauve one just because I don't have deeper skin tone, so I can actually just declutter that. I'm going to swatch this one. The Revlon nail polishes chip really fast on me, so I'm going to see if that one does the same thing. Wet n Wild, Keep, Julie. Julie G polishes. These are so good. Not for resale. Why would I resell it? Um, Damsel. I'll swatch it. Oh, so Formula X came out with this really cool, like, painted set, and it almost looks like watercolor. I'm going to keep these for now. I might get rid of those later, but for now. Um, two Wet n Wild Fast Dry Colors, um, OPI, Nail Lacquer, and Comet Closer. This was a winter collection I was really excited for, um, but I think I'm just going to get rid of that one. And I think I'm going to get rid of these two Julep ones, too. Um, this is in the shade Libby and Maria. I mean, they're cute. I just never wear teals like this, and this pink is just too frosty. Uh, I think I'm also going to get rid of these two. This is nice, like a bunch of them in the front. This is a Butter London one. I got this for free at Ulta. I've never even used this. Yeah, it's still brand new. See? Seal is on. Lift to open. Just not going to. It's like a nude color. It's fine. And then this Mary Kay one, same as the Libby color. Oh, I should say, my goal is more than 10%. So I have 160 nail polishes. I want to get rid of 16 um, and we'll see how that goes. CoverGirl Outlast Gloss Teenies. I love these. They're so little and sparkly. I'm keeping those. Wet n Wild Nail Shine and Kaleidoscope. This is fun. This is that hollow. See you, Nail Logical. I see you. Let me check that one out. I'm also gonna swatch this one. This is the Ulta formula in Lacking You. No, Lilacking You. I don't know. I just don't know if I'm gonna use this color, so I'm gonna swatch that one. This Ulta, another Ulta one. What color are you? Golden Mauve. That's pretty though. It's like pink with a gold shimmer. I'm gonna keep that one. Gel, gel effects. Oh, I remember I got this in an Ipsy. It looked so cute on. C&D Vinyl Luxe Weekly Polish. I've never used this. I just got this before I left Ulta. Keep it for now, just because I've never used it. Um, L'Oreal Paris. I'm going to swatch that one. OPI Dark. I think some of the dark nail polishes I'm going to test. So I'm going to also grab this one. This is in the shade Guys and Galaxies. Just, you know, just see if some of these are the same. I'm going to swipe this one. What are you? I break for manicures. Just to see if it's... What shade are you? Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm going to swatch that one. I don't normally wear baby pinks like that. I'm also going to grab Nomad's Dream. See, I'm jumping around a little bit. We're just going to go with it. This is Sushi Sells Sushi by the Seashore. <laughs> Dark glitter. I think I can. You know what I should do? I should just swatch these silvers because I have two silver polishes, although they look different. 
But do I really need both silver polishes? I do wear silver polish. I mean, this is kind of silver too. But that definitely has chunky glitter in it though. This one's kind of like a gray silver. No, it's definitely a blue silver. That's different. It's a pink silver. And that's more of a color. It's, it's 5 and 10. Do I really need... <laughs> okay, I'm going to compare these three. And I'm going to see. I'm going to make a decision on those. You know, I should also probably pull reds. Because I don't wear a lot of reds. And I have red nail polish. So I've got this Color Club. I've got Nicole by OPI. I've got Sally Hansen. I've got this glittery Sally Hansen. What do we got? Oh, I also have this China Glaze. Sorry if the color's wrong, by the way. I'm filming this at 7 in the morning. I, and I, did not brush my hair or put on makeup for this. <laughs> Listen, this is real life. I literally could not sleep last night thinking about those numbers. And really that's just, it's unacceptable in my world. To these two Sally Hansen ones, I've got 370 red velvet, 380 honeymoon red. I can already tell you I can get rid of honeymoon red. You know what, let's watch this green one as well. I've got this CoverGirl XL and this OPI. Why don't they ever put the names on these little ones? This was part of the New Orleans collection, so you know I'm also gonna swatch this Zoya one. Or maybe I should also swatch this one. Oh my gosh, I have so many greens. This is Essie in First Timer. You know, am I gonna wear a lilac? I had that other lilac. I'll compare those two just for argument's sake. See, I've got so many colors here. Matte, cashmere matte. I don't think I've ever used this shade. This is called Coat Couture by Essie. I'll swatch it and see what I think. Uh, Maybelline. This hollow one I've never used. It might be worth just trying on to see if it looks good on my nails. Dark green. I had another dark green, didn't I? I have that matte one. You know, I'm gonna try that on my nails too. This is Connectivity by Formula X. It's kind of like a steel, this is a steel gray and this is more like a taupe gray. But it has a really nice shine to it. I will swatch that. This is Perfection. Again, this is the Formula X. I bought a bunch of them when they were going out for like $2. Love that glitter. So now I've got like a bunch of random shades. Keep that one. Oh, this is interesting. This one also looks like that. It looks just like the Maybelline Color Show. This one has a bit more orange, or orange? Like bronze in it. This is the shade Iconic. We'll keep it for now. This is the shade Fearless. It's kind of a puke green. We'll try that one on. No one wants puke green nails. Try this one on too. This is massive. I'm going to keep drawing to you. I love, love Nails Ink. Um, I'm going to keep both of those definitely, just for formula wise. And I've got these other nail inks. These all came in a kit that I bought. But I think I can get rid of some of these shades. Uh, Jubilee Muse, keeping that. Queensberry Place. It's like an orange. It's kind of, but I like the one I have on now. That's really, I don't know if I'm going to do it that way. Right? You know what? No, I'm just going to get rid of that one because I haven't gotten rid of one in a while. Kensington Parade. But it's such a pretty color. I'll test that one. Light pink. Notting Hill. No, Notting Hill Muse. Do I ever wear light pinks? No. Do I have any other light pinks? That one's more of like a bold pink. No, I pulled out my other light pink. Okay. Savoy Place. That's a really pretty off-white to a hint of purple. I'm gonna keep that. It has a bit of like gold glitter in it. No, not even close. It's like truly really pretty. But the problem with Ciate is a stupid bottle shape. <laughs> it's so wide, it takes up so much room. I got this mini Ciate. I was so excited to receive this. I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it in a birch box. Mineral Love. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna swatch both of those just purely because of bottle shape. I'm not saying that the formula is bad, I'm just saying I don't know about the bottles. Um, Nails Ink, my brand new unicorn ones, keeping that. Uh, Deborah Lippman, this is in the shade Candy Shop. I hate Candy Lippman polishes, I think the price is stupid. I had one, I, I panned it earlier this year, and it just, it was absolute crap. Oh, by the way, Anna, you said, should I declutter nail polishes? And I told you I wasn't ready yet, but we're going for it. So thank you for the idea. I appreciate that. Um, Sally Hansen Insta Dry, Fast Colors. I kind of like both of these shades. I'm, I like, I'm going to definitely keep the purple. This hot pink one is so cool. I'll swatch it. I'm swatching things I just can't like bear to get rid of. Oh, I like that. Sally Hansen High Definition Nail Color. I haven't used this thing in like forever. Maybe that should be I'm going to try and use up next. Um, Sally Hansen Glitter Polish. I should put that with my other glitter polishes. Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This is a hot pink with silver glitter. Summertime is so cool. And then I've got a gold. These are my Nicole Biopia. I'm going to keep this gold one, by the way. Can you see I'm like a goldfish this morning? This is what goes in my mind all the time. These um, Nicole by OPI colors, I really like, but I can tell you, I probably used this one time. This is in the shade Seeing is Bleeding. Seeing, S-E-A. It's like a blue-green shift. I do like that shade, though. I'll swatch it. Just because I swatch it doesn't mean I get rid of it, right? So I'll show you guys closer up what I'm going to do. Okay, back to Stanley Hansen. Hard as Nails. I love this shade. This is Babe Blue. Or Babe. Yeah, Babe. It's really cool. It's a light blue with a silver reflect in it. I like that one. Okay. My three new Catrice ones with the brown collection. I'm going to keep that. I just hauled those. I just hauled this Manhattan Lasting Shine. I'm going to keep that one. This is one I've never used. This is Bonita in Mask Damsel. I picked this up at Walgreens. And it's a really pretty brown shade. It's not like any of the other browns I have, so I'm going to keep that one. Whim. I bought this because it went on sale at Ulta. And it's like a brown taupe silver glitter one. It's really pretty. Is it similar to anything I already own? Oh, that'd be the most no, it's different because that's more of a shine. It's the glitter. Kind of similar to hot chocolate. No, I'm going to keep it. Butter London. I am not a fan of these Butter London ones. But that is a pretty shade. I'll keep that one. A navy. Got this other navy up here. I've got this navy too. It's like right in between those twos. So this OPI one is Give Me Space. This one's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one is Miss Piggy's Big Number. And then I've got Butter London and Big Smoke. But they're different, but they're similar, but they are different. I'm gonna swatch it and see if I like it. Do I wanna swatch that one? No, I mean, that's pretty. I'm just gonna swatch that one too. Better London in Victoriana. This is what I like to call like a China blue. Um, think like, uh, if you're familiar with like the China plates, the white with the blue transfer on it, it's kind of similar to that. Um, a little bit more, put a, like a little bit more teal in it and you got it with silver flex. I don't know if that's gonna look good. I'm gonna swatch that one. And then this glitter. I actually just wore this. This is in the shade Big Faker. And I just put glitter on my nails and I did a top coat and it shipped really fast. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to swatch these and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping that was on the table. This is what it looks like now. I've got to be able to condense some things, which is really exciting. Um, that unfortunately is still going to be in the basket, but that's just the reality of it and that i got like five more shades onto there so that's exciting the good news is i was able to get rid of 28 shades so i'm going to show you all 28 shades <laughs> which is really ridiculous but i'm feeling better because i went from 160 to minus 28 which is 132 
and there are two shades that I'm not sure about. So I need your help <laughs> because the two shades, they're similar yet different. So the two shades that I need help choosing between is the CoverGirl XL one, and this is in the shade Pump It Pear, and that's the shade on my thumb. That's it right there. And there's no top coat on this. So that's the shade there. The other shade that you can see on my other finger here, they're so similar, is this OPI Nail Lacquer. It's this mini one. Again, uh, I'm sure it came in the New Orleans collection because that's where most of my minis came from. But those two shades are really, let me do it this way, are really interesting. So again, this one's OPI and that one's CoverGirl. And the reason I need help is, yes, they're similar. This one is a little bit more grass green, and this one is a little bit more mid-tone green. And I like the way they both look on my hand. So do you think I should keep them? Do you think I should get rid of them? The other colors I've already kind of decided on. This is what I do. This is how I swatch, by the way. Every finger gets a different shade. <laughs> so let me know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do on both the CoverGirl and the OPI. I really am torn. I like them, but I can tell you I'm not going to wear them all that often. So let me know. But let, I'm gonna, let's go through the 28 ones that I am going to get rid of. So uh, the one that I did not count that 28 is this cuticle oil from Sephora. I know I've had this for over a year. I've never used it. It's time for that one to go. Then this Coco nail art. I keep getting these and I've never used them. And I just don't know if they're good or not. And I don't really care. So these are also going to go. Um, this Wet n Wild Top Shine. It's a pretty color kaleidoscope. But it's just not, not what I need right now. This one you saw in the video that I decided not to keep. This is the Deborah Lipman. Then I've got this Nails Ink. This is a baby pink. That one's going. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to try and go really fast. Butter London. Formula X I decided not to keep. This is in the shade Perfection. I just had one really similar to that. This is Alluring Rose. This is a holographic. Decide against that one. The Naked Manicure, Zoya. Butter London, the one I never opened. The Julie G Polish is hot pink. I just had another one by Sally Hansen that was so similar. I decided that I was trying to get rid of that one. I got another Nails Ink in bright orange. This blue you saw that I decided not to take with me. Same with this one, the Comet Closer. I just have so many silvers, didn't need that one. The other silver I decided to clutter is this 5 and 10. It was so funny, when I compared this one to the Zoya one and the other um, OPI one, this one had very little shine comparatively. So that's going. You saw me declutter this one from Mary Kay. This pink one from Julep in the shade Maria, just 280s for me. Um, I did decide to go ahead and get rid of this Nicole by OPI. This is the C one. Seeing is believing. I just don't think I'm going to reach for it, even though it is a really pretty color. See, that was the one I was like, it's such a beautiful color and I have nothing else like it, but I'm never going to use it. Uh, this is Susie Sells Sushi, Sushi by the Seashore. I remember buying this and loving it, but I just had another one too similar to that. I got rid of both my Ciates, um, and this one was just a little too glittery without like good color behind it. And this one didn't knock my socks off, and the bottle's just a weird shape, so I decided that that one's going to go bye-bye. Um, I did decide to get rid of this one at breakfast at Tiffany's. It's actually this shade here. And I like it. But I have a white with a shimmer that I like more than this. This has a little pink shade to it. And I just decided to guess. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering what was on here, this is that holographic one that I showed you. Do, do, do. This one, the Maybelline one. I don't know. It didn't knock my socks off. And it's not holographic, people. Holla. <laughs> um, this is the Ulta Lilacking You. Um, it was good formula, I must admit. It had really good opacity, but I have another lilac that I like better. This is a L'Oreal one, and as you can see, I'm like really low. I almost thought about putting this in a project polish, but um, I remember never being excited about this polish, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. For my reds, 
Whew, I got rid of this one as you saw when I was choosing, but I also decided to get rid of this Color Club one because my OPI, uh, Nicole by OPI, is the exact same shade. The exact same shade. So this one lost the battle of swatching, so off that one goes. I'm also going to get rid of this Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel Polish and stay classy. I do like this shade. I do like the brush, but I've got one really similar to this. I actually have two really similar to this, and unfortunately, I like those just a little bit better. Uh, I've actually, it breaks my heart because that is a good polish, and I do like that. I'm also getting rid of this Butter London green one, and my shocker, I never thought I was going to do this. I got this Essie, this is the brand new Essie nail polishes. I got it in the shade to have and to gold. I have an exact dupe for this in my collection, and that one swatched better. I'm amazed because this is my first time trying this nail polish was this bottle here, and I was so impressed with them, but the other one was just a little bit better. So that one's going. I don't I definitely don't need duplicates. <laughs> so those are the 28 shades I am decluttering. Um, I hope you can see what I'm keeping. There's still a lot. I still have some work to do, but I'm really proud of myself that I did as well as I did because my goal was like 10%, and you know, I'm at like 28%, so that, or no, excuse me, I'm at 18%. So that's exciting to me, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye! Surprised ya! <laughs> I forgot to show you a polish I'm decluttering, and this is Josie. As you can see, it's not ones I swatched, but they were so close, I decided to get rid of this one. So, know that maybe people like both of these greens, and I'm going to keep both of them, but I already got rid of one. So, again, thank you for watching. 